Hello, welcome to the data channel and uh, you're wat watching Python Bootcamp for Data Professional and as part of uh, topic 21, so we'll, uh, we'll be explaining the key differences between uh, data types or uh, data structures in Python that is a list, set, dictionary and tuples. So most of the people have some sort of confusions in understanding these or some, so some kind of a misunderstanding or a misconception or they don't know when to use which data type and what scenarios right and uh, choose between these uh, data types uh, to get the maximum out of it right so in python so these are the most um, widely discussed uh, data types because of some sort of confusion so we'll try to address that uh, uh, difference with the simple examples and sim simple explanation in this video uh, in the previous video, we have already explained uh, with the practical examples. We have ran, we are uh, we ran a code, all right? We we knew how to uh, we also saw, saw like how to create all these data sets and how to modify, how to use inbuilt methods. So if you are uh, not seen that, we would recommend you to please go back in the playlist and see check those uh, practical examples uh, that we did uh, we did using a VS Code and the Python uh, uh, sessions, right? And but this video will be more of a theoretical and we'll try to understand uh, theoretically how exactly these are different uh, with the real time use cases right before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notification so let's get started So first thing is the difference, right? So when you talk about list, so list is ordered, mutable, allow duplicate and indexed. So we are taking very simple four points here. So list is what? It is ordered. That means whenever it is stored a value, right? So this is like a list. So I'm having one comma two comma three comma four comma five, whatever, right? So in a square bracket, so this is one list. So this is this is ordered. That means it is having a index defined for each of the positions, right? Here this is second element, this is third element, this is fourth element, fifth element, something like that. There's an index for that, and it is mutable. That means suppose there is a value two here in the in the index one, so you can change it to twenty. Okay, that is called mutable. That is changeable. And it allows duplicate. Suppose there is a one, two, three, four, five. Again, I can insert four. Again, insert I can five. Right? That is possible. And it is indexed. Indexed means like you can access using uh, uh, indexes. And also when it is stored in the memory, it is indexed for the better retrieval of the data or faster retrieval of the data. And coming to sets. So sets are unordered. That means uh, so when you define a flower in within the flower braces you define like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 right so these are unordered that means like it doesn't matter whether it's 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 or 3 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 1 right so here there is no concept of uh, indexes like 0 1 2 3 there is no concept of that so that is why it is called as unordered and what is mutable so again here also you can change value of any element like today it is one two three four uh, and after that you can change it one two three four instead of five you can make it 50 instead of three you can make 30 whatever right but the thing here is uh, like unlike list it doesn't allow duplicates suppose there is one two three four five so you cannot again put one two even though you do you put one two it will ignore that that means it will deduplicate that okay and it is unindexed because there is no indexes right here. There is no position defined for each element. So that is why it's obviously unindexed. So when it comes to dictionaries, right? So dictionaries are kind of a ordered and it is mutable, right? And it is uh, ordered. We already seen what is ordered, but uh, uh, dictionaries are mainly a key value pair, right? So you have a key colon and then value. So in the flower bracket again, and then you have a semicolon then key colon value semicolon key colon value okay this is dictionary right and you can have anything here it is name here it is age key right and uh, one more key you can take salary something okay and then you can have a respective values here okay here in this case uh, it is again like the keys cannot duplicate 
so whatever you have defined as a name as one of the key again you can you cannot define uh, one more uh, key with the same value like name because that is a key right so keys if key is duplicated there is no point of uh, uh, whatever operation that you are doing right so that is why key should always be unique and values can be duplicated and here it is indexed by keys okay because indexed or uh, i mean uh, it you can access via key right so suppose name age and salary so these are all keys so you can access values through this um, uh, keys and that's why it is indexed by keys and finally we have tuples tuples are on uh, like ordered basically right so here tuples are like open brace and close brace and then you have one comma two comma three comma four right comma five so this is ordered so that means you, it is having a set positions here like list okay zero index one index second index and so on and it allows duplicates so it, it can you can put again one comma two something like this it still allows the duplicates and it is indexed okay it is also indexed because it is having the indexes but more important thing about the tuple if you see all are mutable list set dictionary all are mutable right but tuple is immutable that means once one two three four five is defined as a one tuple t1 so no matter what you cannot change this so you cannot change a second element from 2 to 20 from 2 to 25 you cannot do, do that either you need to delete the completely the tuple and recreate the tuple or convert the tuple to list and then modify the value and then write it back to tuple so that we have seen in the previous videos but if you want to theoretically understand so this is the important thing about tuples okay moving on so let's take an example right so imagine you are working in an e-commerce project so and you want to use this um, data structures list set dictionary and tuples and in that case you can think of using list in a case where you are managing the list of products in a cart okay and you can use set to track unique categories of a product that is viewed by a user or a customer and then dictionary you can use it for storing product information with unique product ids okay and tuples for handling fixed unchangeable configurations for for the system so that we will see right so this is a list so here we have uh, like managing the list of product in a cart so we have a created a, uh, created a list here that is a shopping cart list and then you go on adding an element to that list that means adding the element to the cart then when you print the shopping cart you will have uh, like all this uh, uh, from the initial list and then monitor is also added here because you are doing uh, just adding to the sh shopping cart so like in set case right so in set case also you can uh, think of having something like this right so tracking you unique categories of uh, products viewed by a user so here because set doesn't allow duplicates right suppose there is a set you, you define as a electro uh, viewed category so because viewed category there is no point of having duplicates so you define electronics and home appliances again you book uh, you, you add a books so that will be added anyway but again if you add electronics it will not add because that is already added so there will be no two times electronics here there will be only one time right and next is dictionary so here we are storing the product information with the unique product id so these are our, these are my product ids right so this is one product ID, this is product IDs. And then when you are trying to add a new product, so you just, uh, uh, here you are using a dictionary. So the you are adding a new product called uh, P0004, P004, and you are giving a dictionary as a, uh, that product, uh, which holds the product information, okay? So it is actually a nest, if you really see it is a nested dictionary, okay? and uh, next is the tuple right the tuples are used in a cases where uh, like you can here in this case handling fixed unchangeable configurations for the system suppose you want to have some uh, project level configuration uh, settings or system uh, changes uh, you do not to change that over the course of the project uh, you can define those uh, configurations here okay and then like this will try to modify whenever you try to modify that okay suppose if you want to do a system config zero of uh, 0 equal to 1.1 .1, so then it will throw error right error saying that tuple object does not support item assignment 
so this way you make sure that uh, like your configuration settings are never changed so that's why you can use tuples so next moving on we will take one more example right where you have example of managing audit management system so here we can see list is a track the sequence of audit logs so these are my audit logs uh, like every day there is the audit logs getting generated and so for each here the key is a timestamp or a date and then the you have a value which is uh, actually the action that is been uh, taken that means auditor started the audit whether reviewed the records so it is a description actually basically what is being done right and then you have adding a new audit suppose there is one more audit getting added so on the next day so you can add that using reviewed by or auditor C or whatever and then when you print it so it will print all these four values along with the fifth value so then you have a set operation so set operation uh, you can see a track it is used to track a unique auditors involved in the audits so because there is no point of uh, having a duplicate auditors uh, name track right so that is why we can use a set here in this case so that it will always uh, keep the auditors unique so here there is auditor a b c so then you are trying to add d so d will be added because it is not there previously then again you try to add a so it will be adding a duplicate and which will be ignored so it will not throw error here that is important but it will just ignore uh, because it has to maintain the uniqueness okay and uh, next we have dictionary case so where it will uh, it will be used to store audit details with the uh, unique audit ids so here we have audit ids right um, so this is audit id 1 2 3 it is again an nested uh, dictionary so in the so this is a key and the value is again a dictionary which is which is uh, holding the audit details uh, for each audit ids okay what is like what is the timestamp who is the auditor what is the status all those right and then whenever there is a new audit taking place you will just add that to that dictionary okay and then you have something called as a tuple that we discussed so that will again in this case we are handling uh, uh, it is used to handle fixed unchangeable configurations of a system that we already discussed uh, so this tuple is a typical cases right it is not most commonly used but whenever it is used it will be mostly used in such cases where the values we don't want to change in any case right so you want to keep that uh, data integrity intact so someone by accident it also you don't want to change the value right in that case so with these examples uh, and uh, real-time examples and where it can be applied so hope uh, some clarity is there and uh, finally we will see a cheat sheet for choosing the right data type among these right so first when we need to choose list is when you need a, a ordered collection of items when you need to modify the collections very frequently and when you access the um, element maybe you want to do a read a write or update right you want to access uh, uh, by index so in that case you can use lists and lists are actually list and sets are most commonly used and even dictionaries um, so sets when you you need to use is like you need to use when there is a need of collection of a unique elements so this is important right so sets means uh, the thing should pop up in your mind is uniqueness list is most commonly used because it allows duplicates it is ordered it is mutable right you can change it anytime so it's more flexible but but set is having some constraint that it should be unique but when you need to perform a membership test so this is also like it's important to i mean you can use set because uh, it will keep the uniqueness and when you uh, order uh, order is not so important right because uh, in that case in certain cases it might not be important like list case so then you can still use uh, set and dictionary means the key value pair should come into your mind so where you need to you need to map the key uh, value pair and you need to uh, do a faster lookups by keys so in that case you can use dictionary and when you need to uh, when you have a need of flexible and mutable data structure uh, which is having a key value pairs okay and finally tuple as i said it is not so commonly used but whenever it is used it it is used in a case where the data integrity is important and uh, that is why we 
call that it is like ordered collection but it does the value doesn't change over the time okay and uh, like there is one typical case this is actually important so when you are using function in python right so what will happen is when you when you return a value back uh, right whenever there is a function end so, so you return something back right so when you are returning something so if you want to return multiple values so then you can use tuples because if you return some uh, employee id it will become a string but if you return employee id comma name comma age so then it will it will be a tuple so you are returning a tuple to the calling uh, uh, program okay so these are the cheat sheet you can uh, utilize so we have made it a simple uh, uh, like we have collected and made it very simple to digest this topic uh, hope this was uh, useful uh, to understand uh, the difference between all of this list set dictionary and tuples uh, and if it is useful we would recommend, recommend you to please subscribe and also uh, press bell button for instant notifications and if you have any queries please free, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section we'll uh, answer that as soon as possible Thanks for watching.